Well, hello, my paranormal peeps, and welcome back to another Deep Woods Paranormal Podcast. My name is Matt Harvey. I am the founder and lead investigator with Deep Woods Paranormal. My wife and I, along with others, investigate everything paranormal in nature. Every week, we will discuss everything from creepy haunted locations to ghosts to Bigfoot, UFOs, Dogman, and other cryptid creatures, and explore all things paranormal in nature. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Deep Woods Paranormal Podcast. My name is Matt Harvey. I am the host of the Deep Woods Paranormal Podcast. Today we have a uh, not only just a UFO um, basic expert, but we have a UFO abductee. She's seen multiple UFOs. She's seen aliens and had multiple experiences with um, that type of thing, the aliens. Uh, we're going to have her on to basically tell her story. Um, she's got hours and hours and hours of stuff to tell us so what we're going to do is we're going to break this down into like 30 minute segments so uh this may not all play at the same time uh if you're if you're interested in watching the whole thing uh i will be posting it probably little chunks little pieces here and there uh so that you can kind of follow our story uh disclaimer to parents some of the stuff that we might be talking about might be a little bit uh scary for kids and uh, we're going to try not to make it too graphic, but we definitely want to let uh, Laura tell her story. So just FYI, if you're listening, um, you might want you might not want kids to be present. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot get her on video for some reason, uh, but we're recording our audio. I apologize. There's a bunch of noise in the background. The vacuum cleaner decided to start right as I started this podcast. So... With that, let's bring on Laura and uh, have you tell your story. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hey, man. Uh, I'm good. All right. So why don't you kind of start from the beginning and tell us where everything started for you? Um, what was the first time you either saw a UFO or did it go straight to just alien abductions? Okay. Um, the beginning is probably going to blow your mind. Um uh, this all started, well, I'm, I'm guessing it started before I was born. Wow. I'm guessing this has something to do with it. Uh, I'm not sure, but it probably did. Okay, I was, um, I have a conscious awareness of... Hold, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Stop okay. talking for a second. Okay, so we're back. So keep going, please. What? Uh, tell me where uh, this started. Okay, this all started, like I was saying, before I was born, I remember being in this a place, it was a bright place, and I knew I didn't have a body, okay, I knew I, it just, it was my consciousness, I have no idea where I was at, but, <laughs> I know it was somewhere, but it, it, anyway, um, wherever I was, um, I had these, um, I just heard these voices, I, I'm guessing this went on for years. They kept telling me, have to, you have to go down to the earth. This is all they said. I didn't see anybody. I just heard voices. I know this sounds crazy, but I remember being in this place, and they kept saying this to me over and over, and I kept telling them, no, I don't want to go down to the earth. I'm not interested. I don't like the earth or, you know, I just I wasn't interested. They just, I, they just kept bugging me for years and years, and... Finally, after telling them, I don't know how, no, for I don't know how many times I came down here with, I don't know, I just remember shooting down here. I don't remember going through space. I'm thinking I was a, a source, a light source or something. I was with another light. There was another light. Like I was on the right hand side, it was the left hand side. We were shooting down to the earth. I don't know how we got down here, but we got we got down here quick. And we ended up in the sky. We were in the sky. I don't know if we were behind a cloud or what the heck it was, but I remember this. I don't know why I remember this, but I do. And this light, other light source, said to me um, that I was shocked when I saw the Earth. I was like, "What is this? What is all this shit going on?" You know, I was like, "What?" I couldn't believe there was. The earth was actually real. But anyway, um, this light source says, 
I saw three people standing on a corner and then the light source says, that's your mom, that's your dad, and that's your aunt. And I said, I don't care. I said, oh my God, I don't want to go down to this planet. I was just appalled. And I kept saying, no, I don't want to go down there. I, I don't care who they are. And um, But anyway, um, years later, my um, it was my mom and dad, my Aunt Johnny. My Aunt Johnny verified to me. I didn't tell her what I saw. I wish I would have. But I, she told me that um, she, uh, I was born in Chicago. She was visiting Chicago, waiting for me to be born, and she waited, I don't know, a couple of weeks, and I wasn't born. And she said, she told my mom and dad, as soon as I leave, you're going to have this baby. And I saw her get into a cab or something, and she said, mark her words, as soon as she left, my mom went right into labor. And she had me. And I was like, you're kidding me. But it doesn't end there. After this, I remember being born. Wow. And I'm like, what the hell? I was was in the room. I remember we were, I was in the, I was actually above, um, I was in the corner of the room. And I could see what was going on, but I didn't understand. I was like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I had to edit that. What the heck's going on? You know, yeah. And then, whoever, whoever this light source with was, um, placed me in my mom's womb. He had, he had to because I didn't feel, uh, I didn't feel a body till something happened. And then I was like, oh, "Are you kidding me?" Now I I knew I was in a body because I could feel my body. Before that, I couldn't feel a body. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but. Um, my first words were, I was, I don't know how I knew this, but in, I was, I wasn't even born yet. And my, I was, the first thing I said was, my mind was, oh shit. Yeah. This is before I was born. Now, how a baby knows a swear word, I don't know, but that's yeah. what I said. Just remember, please, mad. please be careful with your language. We have younger no, people I mean, on here. I so. want to tell you, you could, you could probably edit that, but that's the truth. That's what I was thinking. I don't know how, how the heck did I know that word? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. But then I, then I was born, I started to hear these muffled noises, and I didn't understand what was going on. Then I was born, and I explained this to my mom. She verified this for me, too. I said, you had a man doctor, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, he had black pants on and a white shirt, and he had his sleeves rolled up to his, uh, his elbows, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, I know, because I remember. And, and this was when this when this happened. They were starting to say you can remember your birth. It's possible. And she's like, "How did you know that?" I said, "Because I remember it." I said, "That's oh. all I remember. I remember crying." Oh, he put me on. He put me on his arm, and he almost dropped me too, right? And she said, "Yeah." How did you know he almost? I said, "Because I slipped and I started to cry and I got mad at this uh, man." Be nice and say, "Man," I got mad at him, and I'm like, "Why did he put me on his left arm?" <laughs> and yeah, he, I, I had my head in his hand, and I didn't like his hand, and I was like, ugh. I, was, I didn't like him at all. I was just repulsed. I was mad. I said, that's all I remember about the whole thing. And she's like, how did you remember? I said, I, said, I, said, I don't know, but I remember. Well, they say if you can remember your birth, it means that you're psychic, and I am, like, sli- slightly psychic. Hmm. Not enough to be Sylvia Brown, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little bit little bit psychic sometimes i know things and i just know it and it happens crazy and i know it's gonna happen because i just know but anyway um from that uh time uh after that um i don't know i i uh as i got older my mom was into doing the ouija board i don't know if she was doing it when i was born and I don't know if this that has anything to do with these aliens too. I don't know because we did the Ouija board. Oh my God, for like almost eight years, seven eight years, we did it for a long time, which wow. is bad. Yeah, I don't know why she would sit there and ask me personal questions about her life. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so. Uh, the first time I saw an alien, I think I was in, I was a baby. I was, I don't know, eight, nine months old, I think. 
I saw one at my standing by my crib and it didn't scare me, but I'm looking at this thing like, what the heck is, what is that? Yeah. And I've only seen is I've only seen two aliens with hair. This one had white hair. Um, it had a white. It was tall. It was tall. It was big. Wow. It had a white. Um, this is the first time I've seen an alien. Um, first time they came to get me to, and it, it had like a white cloak on. Hmm. It was all white. His face, his face was white, but its face was like skinny, like a like a rectangle standing up upwards you know what i mean hmm okay i didn't see no ears no nose on it its eyes were not like the typical this this alien type of alien i haven't seen again this was a different one but it had teeth it's the only one i uh, i've seen with teeth and they were sharp and i it was like smiling at me or something and i'm looking at it like what the heck is that I didn't Crazy. cry or nothing. I wasn't scared. I didn't cry, but I'm looking at it like it had it had uh, it had to uh, show up at night. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, this alien was standing there, and it said, "I heard its thoughts." It said, "Oh, she's too young right now. We'll, we'll come back in two years for her." And wow. mark his words, they came back in two years. They waited till I was two years old. And uh, but a different alien showed up. I didn't. This alien I didn't see again. Thank God, because I. Oh my God, I remember those teeth were just like pointed, sharp-looking teeth. And I was like, Oh my God, that thing better not come near me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something out of a nightmare. Yeah, and I was too little to to tell my parents. But um, when I have seen these aliens when I was a child through my childhood. I never told my parents about it because I thought that I, I thought I wrote it off as a, a dream. I thought everything that I saw when I was a child was a dream. Huh. And I kept forgetting to tell my parents about it. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just I just kept forgetting to tell them. But um, they came back to me in two years. This is in Chicago. We only lived in Chicago for two years. Then we moved to Cleveland, Ohio. And... Um, uh, when they came back, uh, my brother told me that me, uh, him, and my older sister and me all were in the same room. He said we slept in the same room in Chicago. I said we did. And I'm thinking, how come they didn't take you guys? They only they only took me. I I never asked them, but I don't think they were ever uh, abducted. Because I why is my brother? Did you ever have anything weird happen to you through your life? And he said no. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing strange. He saw a UFO one time at work. That was it, and that that uh, freaked about. Um, so something could have been going on with him. He just didn't know. Yeah, he didn't realize it. But when this alien came for me at my bed, this was another. Uh, this is almost the same type. Tall alien. It was all just it was pale white, just like white, like a crayon. Wow. It, it, I've never seen uh, any green aliens. Uh, or, uh, or I've seen the gray ones. Okay, the gray ones and these ones are white. But this thing, it, 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 it was standing at my bed, and I'm looking at it like, what the heck is that? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they want with a two year old. As I've asked some people in the past, I've talked to. I don't understand what they. I still don't understand what they wanted with me. Um, because this went on from the age of two to fifty nine. I'm sixty one now. I haven't had anything happen in two years which kind of depresses me because I'm used to them, you know? I'm like, where's oh all the goodness. aliens at? Where are they at, you know? But anyway, um, this thing, uh, I think he told me to get out of my bed because I got up out of my bed. He was on the right-hand side of me and I was on the left. And he held my hand. This is the only time that I uh, held hands with the alien. And then the, and the, they have three fingers and a thumb, which you probably already know. And this hand was real bony, and I was like, ugh. And this thing, every time they abducted me, because they came back for me frequently, this thing's standing there telling me he's my mother, he's my mom. And I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, th I'm looking at him, and I'm thinking, I'm two years old, and uh, I'm thinking, you're not my mom. I know you're not my mom, because you don't look like my mom, you don't sound like my mom, 
you don't dress like my mom. Yeah. So why are you telling me you're my mom? And I'm thinking in my head, okay, I'll go along with it. Yeah, you're my mom. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe they think I guess a child doesn't know who their mother is but anyway the next thing I know I knew we were going to go through the wall in the window and I was panicking at two years old inside my head I was like oh my god oh my god no 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 we're going to go through the wall what the heck what the heck we, oh my god I was so scared I was like oh my god we're going to for some reason I knew we were going to go through the wall maybe because we did it so many times but I don't know how we did it Anyway, the next thing I knew, I'm uh, in this room, and there were about 10, maybe 12 children in a circle. We were all in a, in a, in a big circle. So they were abducting children at night. Wow. And I remember this clear, clear, clearly because I don't know if they came back for me twice a week, three times a week when I was a, a toddler like this. But we'd be sitting there and they would give us toys to play with. And I can't tell you what toy I was playing with. I don't know. Because these aliens, they would frequently walk into the room. You know, one would come in, one would leave, one would come back in. And I kept my eyes on them. Aliens, I'm being nice saying aliens. <laughs> no, I can't say the other words. Um, I was pretending I was some kids, some children were crying too. I was not one of them. I'm not a crybaby. And I kept my eyes on them. The aliens coming in, they were real tall, tall, white, pale. They had cloak, all of them had cloaks on, huge heads. They looked like they were 10 feet tall to me. They were, t- they were the tallest aliens I've ever seen. Wow. And I, was just thinking, uh, what are they watching us playing with these toys? Yeah, were and those the were, were those the gray aliens or what? What did they look like? No, they were white. These were the pale white ones I saw. Okay, and what were they? Tall and lanky? Were they tall and thick? Or how 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 would you describe them? I'd say they were tall and skinny, but they had their cloaks on. They had these long coats on or something. Mm-hmm. Like a lab coat. No, it was more of a stylish coat that, to me, they had on something really, they look kind of nice, you know? I was like, well, they're, like, dressed nice, you know? <laughs> Whatever cloak they were wearing was really, real nice. Hmm. Pristine. They look clean, they, you know, and uh, they were just real tall, white, huge heads. I remember their heads and their eyes, and I had kept my, I kept my eyes on them. Every time they came to the room, I was like, what the heck? Is, I couldn't figure out what that is. I was like, what is that? Where am I? And what is going on? Yeah. Did, I, can you describe your faces? Yeah. Um, typical alien. Uh, well, from what I saw, I didn't... I, I remember seeing... I, I don't remember seeing a nose on them. Maybe a tiny mouth. No ears. I don't remember seeing any ears. So I could. Their heads were shaped like a light bulb. Okay. Kind of... I mean, huge! They had the hugest alien heads I think I've ever seen. Hmm. And their arms, they were real uh, long and skinny. They were tall. Wow. They looked they look skinny to me. They were not... Uh, they don't look like they had any meat on their bodies or anything. But I... Uh, I don't know. I couldn't figure out who they were or where I was or what was going on. It was We were in like a medium-sized room... It didn't look roundish to me. It could have been, but it didn't look like it. I don't remember coming home. I, I don't ever right. be there. I'm here. I don't ever, yeah, I don't ever remember the, them uh, bringing me back, but I do remember them taking me quite a few times. Okay, and, and I, these were the ones with the three fingers, or? Yes, they all have, all the aliens that I have ever seen have three fingers and a thumb. And the thumb but it's not back. like a thumb like ours. Do they have feet like ours, or are they their feet different? No, the one abduction that I saw, I saw the one alien's uh, feet, and their feet is like uh, arched, like what's that called, bipedal or something? Bipedal. Like, yeah. They don't. They don't. Their feet are not. They don't. Well, this one that I saw was not standing flat with his feet. His feet was like like a high heel, like kind of thing. Mm-hmm. From what I saw from, from the one abduction, that's the only time I saw their feet because I didn't pay attention to their feet too much. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I would imagine. I'm just trying to get a description for everybody. 
Um, were they wearing any kind of shoes or anything, or did it look like they were walking around barefoot? I didn't see their... This, these are questions when I was uh, two. I didn't see their feet because of the cloak. They had the cloak went all the way down to their feet. So to I, the floor. I didn't, they were covered with this. They all came in with the cloak on. Okay. Or some type of... I don't know what you call... I don't know what you call it. Long coat or something? Yeah. Was They're it all like dressed the same. They're all in white. Was it... Uh, Buttoned in the front, or were there any buttons or anything like that? Anything like like held or held I, or? I think they could have been. I didn't see any buttons, but they, the cloak was closed, so it could have been zipped or buttoned. Yeah. I didn't notice anything like that. I I had my eyes on their their. I was looking at their eyes. I was looking at their. You know, I was. Just, right, <laughs> I was right. terrified. I just had my eyes on them. I well, was, I bet. I yeah. I was playing with my toy, but I was not playing with the toy. So what what kind of toy did they give you? Do you remember what it looked like? I, no, I can't tell you. I don't know if I was playing with a top or like one of those spinning top. I don't know what uh, okay. so toy it was they small. gave me. Cause, yeah, I was not paying attention to the toy. I was just fumbling with it, but I had my eyes and my eyes on them in the room, and I I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what this uh, um, experiment was about. Hmm. I guess I think it was an experiment or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they. I still don't know what they want. What they wanted with me. I have no idea. Um, That's interesting. So, how long did this this go on for? I mean, how long did, did this particular event happen for? When they took me at night. Was it a couple hours? Was it? Does it seem like a couple hours? Was it longer? What what are your thoughts on that? I think they had me most of the night. I think it was more than two three hours. Hmm. So, I don't know. I I don't know how long it went on. I don't remember ever coming back. I do remember them taking me though. So but I don't. When you get up in the morning, were you tired or were you fully rested or? As a toddler, I don't know. But as I got older, as a child, I would wake up tired mm. a lot I say I told my sis, little sister I said I think they were taking me at least three or four times a week and she said oh my god when you were a child I said yes and I, I, I couldn't figure out why I, I would wake up so tired I'd go to school and I'd be like ah just exhausted like I just I couldn't catch my breath half the day you know Yeah. and I couldn't figure out why I didn't I don't know why I didn't I would forget uh, what happened hmm. but um, after we moved from Chicago to Cleveland Ohio uh, we lived I must have been uh, well I was it was after I was two years old we moved we lived in Chicago for two years we lived um, above this store on West 48th Street um and this is this is significant too. We went um, about I say 10, 15 minutes. No, I say maybe it was ten minutes away from our house. There was this big, huge dirt field we used to go to and play in. I mean, massive, huge. It's a highway now. This is how big this dirt field was. Huge. And my mom used to let me and my older sister and me go down here with our bikes and play in this dirt field, right? Yeah. But in this dirt field, it was reported on the news, people were seeing ghost lights. There were three of them in this dirt field. People Weird. were seeing these ghost lights during the day and at night. Hmm. And me and my brother would go down there, as long as my mom let us, we'd go down there all the time. And she let us go down there this one time. And we're down there and we're on our bikes and we're like, my brother, was, his name was Willie. Um, he's not alive anymore, sadly. Um, and, and we go down there and we're like, hey, Willie, look at the, the ghost lights. And we're looking at these three lights and they were like, I think maybe 100 feet from us. They were close. Wow. Okay. We were here and I'm saying 100 feet, I think it's 100. Uh, three big, huge, like yellow lights and they were hovering off the ground probably about Wow. maybe 30, 40 feet off the ground. We would see these frequently, too. It wasn't just one time. We would see them many times. We would go down. And anyway, we were looking down. Oh, cool. We're like, 
those aren't ghosts. We're like, those are UFOs because we were we were fascinated with you. I think we went down there. Uh, I think I was maybe uh, when I first started going down. I think it was like maybe three or four. He was like six or seven. He was a couple years older than me. Um, that's when I first remember going down there. I think it was like maybe four. It was like a year before we went down there. But anyway, um, the one incident, this is the only incident I had with one of my siblings. I have one brother. I have three other sisters. There's five of us. Um, anyway, we were, we were busy playing, you know, playing around. We got off our bikes and we're playing and joking around. We're like, you know, why, why do those you know, folks keep sitting there? Why are they, you know, we're... I, I thought we thought they were UFOs, not ghost lights, because everybody started calling them UFOs. And um, after we were playing for a while, my mom said we could only stay down here this at this at, at this event for maybe twenty minutes. She told us we were allowed we were only allowed there twenty minutes. So we're playing, and then one of my brothers like, "Okay, I think we need to go." we should go or he said something so we run to our bikes and we're running to our bikes and he he doesn't remember anything and because i asked him a few questions along as years went on but he don't remember nothing and i remember us running to our bikes and i remember this big bright white flash of light boom wow it was just just like this it was one second and I didn't know what was going on. The next thing, the next thing I know, I am in this oval-shaped uh, room, and I see these wind. I okay, I don't know. One window. There's one window, and I'm looking at uh, from where I'm standing in this room. I'm looking at the dirt field. I'm like, why is the dirt field over there? And what am I doing in here? Why am I seeing a dirt field from this window? And um, of course, at that age, I didn't put two to get two, two together. But anyway, I right. was I was facing the window. I was standing here. My brother was to the left of me. He was his back was facing. He couldn't see the window. He was on the left side of me. Uh, I saw the window, and I saw that we were in. It was like a tan colored type room. It was small, and I'm looking at him like Willie. I'm like, Willie, what's going on? I'm like, Willie, what, what, where are we? And he was frozen. He was standing there smiling and he wouldn't say anything. I'm looking at him like, why isn't he answering? Why is he just standing there? It, it, was, it was strange. And um, I bet. I think, I, I vaguely remember this, I think somebody came and grabbed him because then he was gone. And then somebody somebody took me, but I don't remember anything after that standing in this room. I don't remember, uh, I don't remember what happened. But the next thing I remember is, boom, we're running for our bikes again. And, and, uh, and I'm like, wait a minute, I thought we were riding home. I thought we were riding home. I thought we were on the way home. And I'm like, what are we, why are we running for? And I hear my brother, oh, come on, let's, let's go run. Let's get on our bikes. He's, he's saying, let's get on our bikes. And I was like, I thought we were riding on our bikes. I thought we were riding. I'm like, why are we doing this again? Yeah. But I I, uh, I saw like another quick flash of light and boom, we were running for our bikes. We hop on our bikes. Okay, now we're going home and I, and I was confused as heck. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, exactly. What the heck just, just happened? What happened? And then we go home and get this mat. My mom was furious and she was scared. And she was like, I don't know, she was nervous or shaking. As soon as we get in the door, she's like, where have you two been? And we're like, what are you talking about? And she said, you've been gone for two hours. And we're like, what? Jeez. Like, Mom, we were only down there for 15, 20 minutes at the dirt field. She said, no, you've been gone for over two hours. And she, she was getting scared. I bet. And I was like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't, as far as we knew, we were gone for 15 minutes. Right. And, and, now, and then we're like, oh, man, guess what? We saw those UFOs. We saw those 
ghosts like oh, UFOs or whatever you call them. We saw three of them. And she said, what? And we're like, yeah, they were in the dirt field and they were hovering like, you know, 50, 100 feet away from us or whatever it was. And she's like, you're never going down to that. After that, she wouldn't let us go down to the dirt field anymore. We were so mad. We were so upset. She's like, no, as long as if there's UFOs, there, she's like, I don't know if she put two and two together. Mm -hmm. She had to. Yeah. But she didn't ask us what happened. She didn't, uh, she didn't drill us. She didn't, she didn't say anything. That was it. Yeah. Have you ever asked your mom, is your mom still alive? No, she's okay. not. Did you ever get the opportunity to question her about anything UFO in her life? Uh... No, she uh. she never said well. She never said anything that anything was going on with her. But I think something was going on with her or my dad. My dad saw a UFO the one time when he uh, I don't know if he came out of work or what he he had seen one somewhere. So maybe something was going on with him. I don't know. But my mom never uh, she never saw a UFO or she never said that anything strange happened to her. It could have. I don't know. Maybe she wasn't remembering yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe she didn't want to bring you into that lifestyle. Maybe she was just hoping it ended with her. Because I've heard stories of people talking about, you know, goes through families. Uh, multiple sisters or mo multiple family members. Um, siblings had all been abducted yeah. at different times and, and they didn't know and then all of a sudden something happened and they they brought you know the other one said hey you know that looks i know what you're going through and you know they start yeah. talking and they're like they're all like sharing the same story essentially i had that happen to me too and and yeah, next not, thing you not, know it's like it goes through well it's been happening for for years through the through the family you know not just you you know the siblings but also the parents and and going back to you know further further back into into that so none of my none of my siblings have said anything. My baby sister said no. She said nothing strange. My older sister Joanne, I haven't even told. She doesn't even know I'm abducted. But no. I don't think anything's happened to her. And my younger sister after me, I've never talked to her about anything. But she's never said anything. But, I mean, they could have had things going on, but they are not aware of it. Right. They're not realizing it because I didn't realize it sadly till I was forty-seven. Wow. And how did you how did you figure out that all this had been going on? Well, this is after I had an uh, incident happen at my older sister's house. I wrote all this off as a dream. I remember as a toddler um, when they abducted me. Um, I had to be like maybe three, four. I was real little. They I told them I. My daughter said they took blood out of my right wrist or something. They didn't use a needle. I don't know what the heck it was. They, it hurt like hell. I remember that. Uh, like heck. But I remember them taking blood or something out of my wrist. I was sitting in this chair. And where I was at was all white. And this, uh, I saw this man in front of me. He appeared. It was just a... Uh, I saw his face. His face is this man. He's like... An older man, and he talked funny, and I believe he was he was saying to me, "Anytime you see us, you're gonna think you're dreaming." He was saying that kind of thing to me when I was little. He was already pro programming me, but he talked real real funny. He didn't he didn't talk like a regular person. I have no clue who he was, what that was, and I'm sitting. I'm like, oh, okay like a little kid I'm like okay and he, he's like anytime you see us you won't I won't think anything of it you know or something Crazy. along that line he said and he was just like in a like in a cloud and all or something I just saw this face in front of me he appeared out of nowhere and I'm like what the heck is, is, what the heck is this like you know, he came I, through I, I, maybe he came through a portal or something I don't know but it was it, uh, that's all I remember that incident when I was a, a child mm -hmm. um, so that's why I think I, I just wrote everything off as a dream when I was a kid yeah um, but right. uh, 
Well, with that, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, we're going to continue to talk to Laura. So just bear with us, guys. Uh, this is going to be part one of our series with her. I don't know how many episodes we're going to do uh, with her, but uh, she wants to continue to tell her story. So we're going to continue to talk to her and uh, continue on with her story. And we'll continue to release her stories maybe every week or every couple of weeks. And uh, you guys can continue to listen to her story. Uh, I think we've just scratched the surface with her. And uh, I appreciate you coming on today, Laura.